It is Sunday morning. Oh my gosh, okay. First things first. Something happened this morning on my run that just totally upset me and unnerved me. You know, I usually feel okay when I'm running. I just did not feel safe after this incident. I was not feeling good. You know, I was just going on my morning run, not bothering anybody. And the guy, I mean, you know, I saw him. He was way, way, way up there, but he like slowed down. I'm like, dude, just keep going. Just keep, keep going. He slowed down and then he reached down like, you know, he was doing something with his shoes. And I'm like, okay, so if you're gonna slow down, I'm gonna slow down. And I'm gonna take my time getting up there to where you are so that I give you plenty of time to finish up what you're doing to keep going. So then he like stops doing that and then he just stands there. So he is now standing there waiting for me to continue on my route toward him. I'm just like, okay. You know, usually the hotel is open over there. Should I just cross the street and go on on that side? Should I just keep going and give him like the eye contact and the body language that says, dude. But, you know, the whole idea that I just was not, you know, feeling good with what was going on, it would have, I, I see people walking all the time, okay? And I don't get that bothered look there was something about the guy's demeanor the way he slowed down and bent down as if there was something on the ground the way he was checking me out and i was checking him out it just did not feel right something just felt wrong about the whole thing i some of them i have seen so many times like i know who they are we now speak you know we have conversations but this guy, there was just something about the way he was carrying himself and this whole kind of slowed down activity, waiting and looking at me coming, you know, just did not leave me feeling good about any of it. And typically, you know, there are cars that will come through down Main Street. There just was not anybody out this morning. That's that's the advantage and the disadvantage of running on Sunday mornings. The advantage is there's less traffic, okay? You get the stoplights, usually they're green, you can keep going, nobody's coming, okay? There are not as many runners out. But the only thing about that is you wind up being out there by yourself if something happens. And so there are places that are that I know, I know where my places are. Like I know where the fire stations are, McDonald's, which BPs are open and when. Like I know my places where I can go along my route. This particular spot, the best place would have been, the next best place, like I said, would have been the hotel because they're open. And there was a guy who worked over there um, that I knew. I don't see him that often. So I don't know if he still works over there. But, um, you know, but I was just sort of like, I don't, I don't know what you're doing. I don't like what you're doing. Um, I feel very uncomfortable about it and I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I really got to do a better job of looking out for myself when I'm out running like that. <sighs> so I'm going to have to figure out what that looks like because, you know, we can only run with so much now. Okay. So we got to keep in mind what tools are we going to be carrying with us to make sure that we are safe in these streets? So guys, yeah, I was still pretty wound up about this. So I did want to go ahead and start to do a little bit of research just to see what was out there. It's been a while since I've taken a look, although I've been advised to do so on many occasions. But what I may do is to check in with some people I know. I know the sheriff here and another sheriff um, who is actually a woman. So she might be a good person to talk to also to see what some of these options, if they're good options or not. And then I also know some people in law enforcement here in the community that I can reach out to just to sort of say, what do you think are good products? What do you think are good brands? What should I be looking for? What should I be concerned about? Can I get stuff just from Amazon? Or, uh, you know, do you have any guidelines? You know, anything that you can share with me as I try to figure out 
and go through all of this research here, all of these different products to figure out which one or ones will be the best fit for me because I really don't know. Now these rings looked pretty good, but yeah, I'm not sure about that. This one looked okay until I realized you have to like screw the top off before you get to the damaging part. So yeah, I'm definitely going to reach out to some people I know. Hope you got something out of this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace.